Hi everyone, it's Tanya Rebecca again. Today we're going to talk to you about drapes and just a few tips when you're measuring out uh, what size of drape you need or how high you're going to hang with your drapes. What style, things like just basics, the 411 on drapery. So to start off with, you've got a beautiful window that you want to um, jazz up in your room and stuff like that. Let's talk about how high we want to hang our drapery and some ideas on how we can Make your room and your ceiling feel taller. Get some, you, can, you can play with a lot of illusions with drapery, and it's just a matter of how you hang them. So to begin with, um, we've got some side panels behind us that we're going to use for um, our examples. The best thing I can, uh, best advice I can give, or we can give people, is if you look at your windows before you go out and buy your side panels, side panels are always going to come in certain sizes. So basically, you go to the store, what sizes are we going to be looking at? Um, pretty standard uh, for length, about 84 to 96 is about standard, which they'll carry in stock. And then your width is uh, usually about 42, 42 to, to like 54. 54. So here's here's just some, I don't know if you can even see the dimensions on there, um, but just some um, store-bought panels that we, we brought up. So most of the time you're going to be at that 96. 96 would be for like a... Uh, you're looking at like eight foot ceilings and stuff. Mm -hmm. So before you go out and buy your panels, what you want to do is you want to find out how much height you have. So go take a look at your window because ideally what would be really nice, and we're going to pull the screen up, is if you actually take the height of your wall and the distance between the window, the top of your window frame, and the ceiling, if you actually take that and take half of it, and I'll just pull it up so you can kind of see, Take half of that dimension and that's where you put your rod. So measure from that point on. What this is going to do is going to give you the illusion of having actually a higher ceiling. Whereas if you put it right on your window frame, it's almost like the rod and the draperies are fighting with the window, fighting for attention. And it also brings, brings your ceiling down. So, um, so tip, tip one before going to buy a side panel. Measure your height. Yeah. And you're going to measure it from... The outside of your frame to the roof, in between them, and yeah. then down. Yeah. Now you can always. That's not to say like there's. It's not to say that you can't have the rod like super close to the ceiling if you want. Just keep in mind any time yeah. that you have your draperies, the higher you go with the rod and with the draperies, it's gonna again give you the illusion of having a oh, higher, a really high wall. Yeah, and it really romances. It romances the room. So. Um, let's get into side panels and whether or not, like, what size is width and stuff like that and how many we should get. Okay, so window, what to do? So, to start with any window, um, starting from, like, two feet, three feet, you always want to use two panels. Unless you just want to have just one panel. Kind of have it, like, said, just to, um, just to fill or just to give it a Drapery would be like right in the middle of the window. But if you want to fill it and frame it, always use two. And then you can pull either one side and it will fill, fill the window up better. Somebody actually once told me that um, when you look at drapery panels, um, drapery side panels, anything like that, it's you're essentially framing your window. So there's a picture frame for your window. So you can have a beautiful view. These are going to romance it. So some other things that um, you'll find with draperies is different tops. So there's going to be a tap top, there's going to be pinch pleats, grommets. Those are all different styles that you're going to find with some. Yeah. And then you can also use rings as well. So keep in mind, like if you buy, for example, this here, this particular drapery is actually, um, it actually has a tap top on it. So what that means, so let's get it out. I love the color of this drapery. So what a tab is, is at the back you're going to see just openings that you can put your rod through. Now that's not to say that you can't dress this up. You can actually go out and get a ring. So there's little rings that have clips on it and you can clip it at the back and do that as well. That's a romantic. This here is more of a contemporary line because it's just clean, sleek, Hides all the, the tabs in the back, and then it's going to hide the rod so you don't see anything, and it gives you that very sleek, clean look on the front. That's good. 
we're going to show you some pictures of um, some projects that we've worked on um, that have used draperies and things like that. And by all means, if you have questions um, when it comes to draperies, there's so many different things you can do. We're just kind of covering panels right now and how you could dress up your window with panels. But there's balances, different mm -hmm. tips you can use with balances, um, Roman shades. Uh, you always have your hard treatment, which would be your blinds and your different things that you actually use for your functional purposes. Um, also things to keep in mind when using different fabrics, silks. If you're using a silk, if you go into like linens and things or something like that, always make sure that when using a silk that it has a lining on it. Reason being that if you put a, a silk panel up without that lining, the sun is just going to disintegrate that fabric. So you're going to find after a while you're going to go, oh, that's not looking well today. With the extra money into putting the, um, putting the lining in there. So kind of some basic basics. Going to cover a little bit of basics um, in regards to panels. Go check it out. See what you think. Um, see what kind of things you can find out there. There's lots of different ways you can add pattern to your room. You know, like if you've got um, just an easy way to pull the colors within yeah. your space, um, add some texture, or add in a different design, or keep it simple if you have, like for a bedroom, if you have a very beautiful duvet, lots of pillows, and you just want to add um, just some more color, let it flow, but keep it very basic, and you can do a simple um, pattern or just a, a very basic one color on, on your drapery. Absolutely. So thanks for listening. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.